Assalamu alaikum guys and a very warm welcome back to another video with your Arabic teacher Sam. Today I just wanted to make a little video for like parents and tutors out there who are interested in like teaching their children or teaching other people's children Arabic because some of you know Arabic like you know you have people who speak Arabic and then other people who have learned it to a pretty good level themselves but then it's not always entirely intuitive how you make lessons out of that or how you make like activities out of that. So I wanted to share something with you that I do with two of the children that I teach and um, there are two Libyan children I teach called Amin and Ayman and um, they're kind of the inspiration behind this little game that I play with them and I, I thought it's so simple so low cost no equipment needed nothing like that it's literally just some cards that you can make yourself or make together is probably a good activity to, to do as well to to make them with the children too and um yeah it's just so simple like it's so um so good for learning the Arabic alphabet and learning the letters in order and things like that too and then it progresses really nicely onto like writing activities to join up the letters and stuff too so um so we'll get started so all I do is I have like a pack of cards that I made like this. There's just letters of each of, um, there's just each of the letters of the Arabic alphabet in it. But when we start the game, we start from the back. Okay, and it's good practice to do that because sometimes people can quite easily get into the habit of just sort of um, knowing the Arabic alphabet as a song. Like they don't, sometimes like really little children, it's the same with numbers. Like when you teach counting to young children, I remember when I was a primary school teacher, I, um, I covered for a, yeah, for a reception class, we're doing numbers and, and, um, and one of the children, like his mum came and approached me in the morning and said, oh, you know, he's, he's, he's learned to count up to 20 at home. And I thought, oh, wow. Like, so, so I got him at the front of the class and I set out 20 teddy bears at the front of the class. And I was like, okay, come on, like, show us how you count. And he started off just waving his hand over all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, so he didn't understand that like the first teddy bear was one and the next teddy bear was two and, and stuff. He just knew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up to twenty is like one big word. And it can be the same with Arabic alphabet sometimes if, if children only learn it as a song. So um yeah, so good. So how it goes is all we do, and it, it works really well if you have more than one child as well. Because I normally do this. I have like Amin sitting on my left and an Ayman sitting on the right, and we'll do it like this. We'll go, we'll go, yeah. So it'll be like yeah, wow, ha, and you'll go between them like that, yeah. So we'll get through all of them, okay. We we'll go all the way down to the bottom, okay, right up to Elif. And then the good thing as well is that you come back, and then this time there's just in the movement of it. You can make it like time orientated as well. You can put a little bit more pressure for the time on. So when you come back, you come back and then they go Elif, Ba, and they have to say it before the card lands and like the next one comes up. So the first time going through them, practice is them saying the alphabet backwards as well, which builds a little bit more appreciation for the actual, um, you know, for the actual letter itself. And then when, when you're going in the right order, which they might have learned already, there's a bit more time. There's like, you know, there's a bit more focus on like saying it within the time and stuff too. So, so that's really cool. Like you come through them. So you go to like Amin, to Amen, Amin, to Amen, And you, you just do it like that. So you have each of the letters and go through them just like that. So then at the end, you have this pack of cards still. Um, and you, they're, they're back into this order. And a really nice thing to do, a good little game to play. Do you know what, actually, we're at about three minutes, so we'll do a second video on like a nice game that you can play with that afterwards, like once you've gone through the alphabet both ways, and then you've increased the time a little bit more, then we'll, we'll, we'll do a second video, so it'll, it'll follow straight on after this video in the playlist. But um, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, and you think this would be beneficial for other parents and other tutors that you know, then don't forget to like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.